Hey everyone. So a user on Quora asks an extremely broad question. What is digital marketing? What are the basics of digital marketing? What is digital marketing strategy? Who needs digital marketing services? So I'll attempt to um, concisely answer that question. Uh, digital marketing is the use of digital platforms. So PC, mobile, um, anything that's digitally connected, like even televisions in 2019. Um, to send messages out to consumers with the goal of generating leads, generating sales, getting app installs. So really it's just digital marketing is using these platforms to uh, achieve business services. And the basics of digital marketing in 2019, there's a few characteristics that are critically important. The first is that um, there's a lot of data. Everywhere we go in the physical world, for example, we are uh, leaving bits of data about ourselves and that data is aggregated by different apps sold to different companies and then further aggregated and connected to our other behaviors so for example MasterCard sells data about what we buy at the supermarket and it allows us to target people who serve uh, who buy Oreos at the supermarket for example and so there, you know, in one of the platforms we use, there's 160 different data companies and they have different types of data and different recipes. And the idea here is that marketing in 2019 going into 2012 really means that we use precision data about what people are interested in and we serve them ads or we deliver content messages to them through social media, through, um, those are the two main things. And I, I would also look at um, so the, the, the main character, the main sort of ways of sending out messages in digital media is paid media. So paid advertising, content marketing. So value driven content marketing, um, lesser, but still valuable is email marketing and affiliates and, uh, and affiliates are when, um, a company places an offer. I'll pay anyone $20 who gets me a person to buy a product and then links are shared all across the web and sometimes when people purchase um, the affiliate gets paid so that's affiliate marketing but the two largest types of marketing are content posting uh, and paid media inclusive of banners video search ads etc okay so um, where do we go from here what is digital marketing strategy digital marketing strategy is really about understanding who your customer is, what their interests and motivations are, where they're coming from, where they're going, and how your product helps to solve their challenges. Um, the strategy defines your customer and what you want them to do after they've seen your ads or your messages, let's say. Um, and what's important about your digital marketing strategy in going into 2020 is that you should have a good sense of what your customers want and what you want your messaging to do, but you don't have to be 100% right about which message is going to perform the best. And, and the nuance here is that, you know, 20 years ago, you would spend weeks and months developing commercials for television. And it's like you have one shot, like that's the commercial you have. And maybe you make two or three if you have a lot of money. But in 2019 into 2020, you can create 10, 20, 100, 1,000 different creative executions, some with men, some with women, some with buildings, some with the product, some with the blue background, some with the red background, some with different types of copy in, in the ads. And you get to get feedback from the marketplace. People tell you when an ad is clicked on or engage when, when a content market, when a content post is engaged with, or when a person signs up for a lead or you know shares their information or downloads a white paper or generates a sale the marketplace tells you what works and what doesn't you have to have a good thesis an idea about what you think will work but you could be totally wrong and still have a really great campaign if you have a really strong testing framework for your digital advertising and marketing campaigns so for example um, and, and what this really does is that it really gives marketers the ability to refine their product, refine their messaging, refine what they say when they go to market, refine their pricing, refine their website, refine how they communicate with people, right? Because 
let's remember all 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 these media social media instagram snapchat TikTok, facebook um any of the places where ads are run youtube um these are all proxies for people getting together and communicating with each other and what happens when people communicate the best communicators are engaging they know how to say something and inspire and motivate they know how to enroll people in the vision for the thing that you're talking about so advertising and digital marketing should be doing the same thing and it should be using the tools of our time the communications tools of our time to make all of that work together and so as a result who needs digital marketing right um, I would argue everyone every product and every service needs digital marketing now every product and service doesn't do digital marketing because I think some people have limiting beliefs about what it what it is or what it isn't but I'll give an example I think is out of left field. I just had a really great conversation today with someone who I think is a, is a great human being, a, a fantastic person. And I told her, I said, look, if you want more employment opportunities, she's already gainfully employed, but she wants options. If you, if you want to be gainfully employed, if you want to have further, more interesting uh, employment opportunities, or maybe you want to do consulting, or maybe you want to build a business one day, and you just want choices. And maybe you just want to get promoted within the company you currently work for. The best, I think the best way of doing that and accomplishing, getting those opportunities, in addition to, of course, doing good work within the organization that you are in and being a good person, et cetera, is by building a reputation. Effectively, it's marketing for yourself building your brand and the way you build a brand is by giving value by giving people information that is valuable to them and ideally staying away from asking for something from them as long as possible maybe never so people individuals who aspire to do have a great life who aspire to be happy who aspire to start businesses who aspire to do fun things and get employed at interesting places and have bigger challenges in lives need digital marketing uh, small businesses local businesses need digital marketing um, certainly large fortune 500 companies um, live and die by advertising uh, and digital marketing as a subset of that so digital marketing is really just about communicating with people in the forums and with the proper with the tools and with the communication tools of our time to engage people to have conversations to be likable to be valuable to inform and to entertain and all the rest of it is a means to doing that and ultimately if you do that well you will get more sales you will drive more leads You'll have more employment opportunities. And I think ultimately you'll have an opportunity in your life to choose happiness. That's digital marketing. Talk to you guys soon.